All right. Always new women gotta keep a balance. All right, this is my conversion, converted starter bracket, see this, custom design starter bracket, so I love if you start the engine on the ground, easy, testing fee is coming up tomorrow, everything go good, all right. All right, check it out. 3.6 is in, officially. Long time coming. Pull up on the aisle and let you see. All right, so engine mount bracket conversion. Let's go to the driver's side. Let's see if we can bring it down closer so you all can see. So we have a sandwich plate going off for here. To here, this will be welded to that. Alright. Alright. Tighten up that, that will close that gap. Ground wire there. Drill a couple of holes right here. Pull these and put some nuts inside of that so we can tighten the mount to the base of this. Bam, bam, tighten that in. Couple nuts, sir, that fix that. Yeah. All right, so that's the 3.6 sitting in the chassis. That side of engine mode for deal with. Need to make something for go from here to here. Yep. Apart from that, check the space clearance. So.
What's up? Alright guys, what up? Another one again. VR6 swap. B5, B6 swap. We're doing. So, we, you know, we have the adapter plate mounted. You can see. Part number for anybody who won't forget this. A um, couple mounts, you know, bolt on with like three, uh, three, three, three points here, here, and here. And then, you know, the start of this is expensive as shit, so I decided to skip a step. So what I basically did is modified this. This starter is from a, a 12 valve VR6, and I basically drill an extra hole through the adapter plate clearance here you know so it doesn't touch and then add a stud clearance a block right here as you can see so we still have access to that bow hole and fit pretty much snug around it disadvantage now is that there's only one bolt holding it down but this is plenty sturdy shouldn't go nowhere if anything later on we might go back through and add a second hole here or just pull one of these bolts or two of them and just make a slight L bracket from here to the block and that should be more than enough to hold it in place apart from that later on after we started up we can always go back ahead and change the starter if we're not comfortable with the starting position but as you can see this now is a 3.6 VR612 from the from the Passat so 3.624 valve oh I also did this as well modified a bracket to relocate the power steering pump because the 3.6 doesn't come with with a um, power steering pump, we can always swap the power, the bracket from the 24 valve regular VR6, and it should work. But in this case, we don't have that right now, so we just make do with what we have. So just weld a couple points, make a bracket, you know, as long as it work.